Now, if I was talking to you on a mobile phone instead of through the TV screen, my words may well have disappeared by now because of a call drop. It's become a huge problem across the country. But telecom operators got some relief today after the Supreme Court struck down penalties for call drops, calling them unreasonable. If the mobile conversation snaps midway, your telecom operator will no longer be penalized. The top court has struck down the telecom regulator's penalty of one rupee for every dropped call and a maximum penalty of three rupees a day as arbitrary and unreasonable. But from Guwahati to Mumbai, mobile users want to know how will telecom companies be held accountable for poor service? Government has to look into the matter. They cannot be so insensitive to the public. They should give the liberty to the people to charge penalty against the telecom services. Earlier speaking to NDTV, the regulator defended its decision, saying it should not be seen as adversarial or anti-industry. I always tell my telecom service provider friends, that don't consider this as something which is, you know, adversarial relationship. Mm -hmm. Essentially consider this, that this is, essentially we are trying, as a regulator, we are trying to do our job. Former Telecom Minister Kapil Sibyl, who argued for the telecom companies before the court, asked the government to check call drops urgently later in the day, when he addressed the media as Congress spokesperson. We request the ministry and the minister to make sure that he takes such steps so that he should not be called a call drop minister. The government says telecom companies are duty-bound to offer flawless service. I am the minister for the growth of telecom and I am equally the minister for the consumer's protection. The telecom minister also said that his department would examine the court order and decide if they can take any further legal steps to check call drops. With Ketki Angres, I am Sandeep Pukan for NDTV.